Aiden Stripe Yeah. Nicolette Casarotto. Casarotto. Why is that Italian? Yes. Why I eat so much. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, we love this. I was like this. grown up on butter and pasta. Oh, there's photos of me as like a toddler with big blocks of butter. Eating like, butter. Just eating straight butter. Like I used to, mummy tells me stories. I used to be at the, like um, out for her for dinner. I'd be like, more sashimi. What like, a premium you child. I was a little bougie baby. <laughs> I have pasta like twice a week. All my no, I like, always oh, see her on Instagram, like posting at Toddies. Like, I love that you're this time. nutritionist that's like so balanced. What always happens, and women are the worst at this, is <laughs> the scales go up when you're looking at a surplus and muscle gain. Yeah. That's what you're wanting though. But as soon as that number on the scale goes up, you freak out, then you go back to that deficit. You look better well, sometimes. I don't yes. weigh myself and I haven't weighed myself for years, but I used to weigh myself when I was training. And often at my heaviest, I felt and looked my best and I was yeah. strong. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah, like I, and I'm, like muscly, like muscly, like this is fantastic. Yeah. And I know for me, like my current weight is the heaviest I've been. And it's because my goals at the moment are performance in the gym. Yeah. So like I'm hitting those, you know, PBs with my deadlifts and squats. As soon as I know I haven't eaten enough, I can't lift as heavy. Do I need to increase my calories around my periods? Yes, you do. So there's a lot that goes on with the menstrual cycle. So you've got your two phases. Through the luteal phase where we come into that PMS, uh, you will see a decrease in performance and you're going to feel hungrier. You need to bump your calories by anywhere from one to 300. So we can eat more around our period. You absolutely can and you need to because your body, think about it this way, you're going through an extra two workouts the week. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. So so thinking about having an extra couple workouts in there, your body's under more stress and it needs more energy to basically survive. Yeah, of course. The other thing you want to look at is decreasing the intensity of your workouts. I always encourage clients to sort of not track their period, but track their emotions around it. So straight away, you're educated with yourself, what you need to do that you're not going to feel crappy after a few days. Oh, well, I haven't trained. I've overeaten. You're like, cool, this is what my body needs. Your body needs that at the time. I love that. That's a beautiful balanced approach. 